Let's bring in Chris Grisanti. He's the chief equity strategist for MAI Capital Management. Jeff Krumbleman is also with us. He's the chief investment strategist at Mariner Wealth Advisors. Welcome to you both, Chris. You're, where do you, you're, I think of the kind of point of view, unlike Mary Daly, that inflation pressures will be with us for some time. I do. Uh, uh, yes, I, I do think that's right. And it's nice to be with you again, Kelly. What, but what I think, I agree with her in one sense, which is I don't think it's commodity inflation that's going to get us. Uh, I think uh, there are one-time things like trucks and cars and gas, but I do think wage inflation is going to be the 800-pound gorilla that really, as we enter 2022, that will be what the headlines are about. And it's much more pernicious because commodities go up and down, as we all know. Wages really go in only one direction. You give a 5% raise one year, you can't really dial it back the following year. So that's what I'm on the lookout for, and that's what I think will drive interest rates higher next year as well. I, I take your point, Chris, although I'm curious what's going to happen come Labor Day, because if you have all of a sudden a flood of new entrants to the labor market who generally generally have lower wage jobs. I mean, that's why we saw average wages go up during the pandemic was just that mix effect. So I know what you're saying for an individual person. It's unlikely their wages would go down. Though of course, it still happens. People reset all the time. But for society at large, you can definitely sure. see downward wage, wage pressures. Well, the problem there is that we see many job openings in almost all of our portfolio companies that are much higher, for example, than the current unemployment benefits. So I, I really think that this excuse that there's all these folks sitting on the on the sidelines waiting, but uh, is not going to turn out to be true. But, but of course, the proof's in the pudding, and we'll see in a couple of months. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.